three-point shooter, but you do have a foul to get. I might reach in. I would, too. 17.6 left. They throw it to Hanlon. He'll bring it up in the backcourt into the front court. They're going to hold for the final shot. McClintock right side. He'll bounce it to Ziegler. One-on-one. -on -one. Ziegler against Dugan. One dribble goes to Saltworth with six. With five. With four. Saltworth spins with three. With two. Steps in. It's a two at the top. The it in. And we go to double overtime. Yeah. That was a two. Saltworth was at the three-point line, but when he did a head fake, he stepped in and took a shot for two, and we're tied at 37. Double overtime. Here we come. We'll take the break. Come back after this. Here we go. Rochester to our right here in double overtime. Stallworth working against White. White's had three personal fouls, seems like forever. Baker cross-court pass over to Hanlon. Hanlon will swing it to Stallworth baseline. Baker open, three right wing. Rochester, oh. no good. That was on line. Rebounded by Brannon. He'll get it to Dugan. Jacksonville still with that one foul to give. It'll be one and one for Jacksonville if they're fouled by Rochester. 30 seconds gone here in the second overtime. Rose, McCombs, Brandon, Dugan, and White on the floor for Jacksonville. Winner plays Lanphier Friday night. Brandon spins, floats it in the paint. Good. Brandon gives Jacksonville a two-point lead here in double overtime. He's got a dozen. 39-37. If you're just joining us, Jacksonville has not played well. Rochester hasn't shot the ball well. It's just been one of those games. Yeah, neither team has played really well. McClintock has it right side. He'll throw it up. He'll swing it around to Stallworth left wing. Now to Hanlon. Hanlon saw a ball go in, so beware of him now. They'll bounce it to Baker. Left side to Ziegler. Ziegler goes right by Dugan to the basket. Bounce pass. Brandon went for the steal and get it. McClintock off the glass. Missed the layup. Rebound inside. Ziegler, what a four, goes up, and he is fouled by Dugan. Just sitting here wondering, Jacksonville played a three overtime game against Rochester, an overtime game against MacArthur, an overtime game against Lancier. Um, yeah, they, 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 played, they played an overtime game against Cahokia down yeah. in Centralia. Exactly. So they, and so Jacksonville's been in their fair share. This is a double overtime game. Ziegler at the line for two, for third foul against Dugan. He missed the free throw. Ziegler. Jacksonville leads 39-37, 248 left here in double overtime. Ziegler now three of five from the foul line. If you're Jacksonville, you gotta be strong and one of the bigs has gotta get the board here. Decatur MacArthur, Lincoln, yep. Southeast. Decatur MacArthur twice, wow. and Cahokia. Those are the overtime games Jacksonville played this year. Ziegler's next one. He missed the both rebound. There's the Clintock, kicks it to Ziegler. He'll go right into the paint, bounce pass. Stallworth goes up, foul, and one. And Jacksonville just cannot rebound the basketball tonight. There, this has just been one of those games, Mark. And Stallworth, well, I, he's I, had a good one. He's got a dozen. I think it's more of a when these rebounds are coming. You know, that's all, well, Stallworth's second offensive rebound. He's got a dozen points. Now has a chance to give his team a one-point lead. 39 apiece, double overtime, 242 left. Stallworth makes it 40 to 39. Rochester trying to pull off the upset. Winner plays Lamphere Friday night. Jacksonville's got to start playing a little more loose. They've been playing tight this entire game. Here's Dugan. He'll swing it to Rose, left side. Man-to-man -man for Rochester, out to McComb. Both bigs have touched it. 20 feet from the basket. Brandon, top of the key, inside Dugan, back to the basket. A lot of contact and no call. I thought I heard a whistle. I did not. Shot no good. Rebounded Ziegler. And Rochester, a chance to stretch their one-point lead with 2.15 left here in double overtime. Southeast was a winner, 43-35 to over Lincoln at the Lincoln Regional. Brandon reaches in and fouls Hanlon, and Hanlon will be at the line for the 1-1. One one. Hanlon is 6-7 uh, of seven from the line tonight. 2 10 left here in double overtime. Jacksonville has had 19 wins on the season. They're 19 and 8, 14 and 4 in conference. Well, you but brought up early in this broadcast, the last time they had 20 wins, they were upset by Sacred Heart on this, floor. on this floor on the first game of the regional. Free throw is up for Hanlon. No good. Rebound McCombs. Wow, Hanlon. Jacksonville is in this game. White pull up three right wing. His first shot of the second half. No good. Rebound saved right into Rose. Layup good. As McClintock went to save the basketball on the shot, on the three-point shot, missed it right to Rose, and he got a layup. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, boy, I tell you what. Hanlon wide open for three. Jacksonville leads 41-40. Hanlon decides not to shoot it. A minute 45 left in double overtime. Rochester with the ball down one. Stallworth. He's got 13 in the game, one-on-one. -on -one. He's just doing whatever he wants in this one. Spin, fall away jumper, no good. Rebound, Dugan, yeah, and he got a foul call. I believe it's Baker who puts Dugan in the back, and Dugan will be at the line for the one-on-one, -on -one, as that's a 19 foul. And if you're Jacksonville, you got to make free throws. They're up by one, 41-40. 
But you got to close this game out, and they've had a number of opportunities a number. to try to do that. Brandon was at the line with 42 seconds left, and Jacksonville was up five and missed the second free throw to put him up. Would have put him up six. Hanlon knocked down a three in the last overtime. Well, McCombs missed the front end yeah. of a one and one last time. Dugan had missed his last free throw. And he missed that missed one. That wasn't even close. Rebounded by Stallworth. 90 seconds left here in the second. 41-40. This has got a game of a team just looking tight on the floor. Jacksonville clinging to that one-point lead here in double overtime. Stallworth one-on-one against Brandon. They're just going to Stallworth. Pull-up jumper in the paint. Good. Why not? I, I'm telling you, you, we watched him play, and you say, how are his numbers only what he has? The average is nine, but he's big time. 42-41 Rochester here in double overtime. A minute, 10 left here. Look out. McCombs gets it back from Brandon. They go baseline to White. He's going to launch a three right baseline and hit it. James White with a three on the baseline. 44-42 timeout Jacksonville. That was an awful shot. It was a ball way right baseline. I don't even know if he had the ball completely in his hands, but he drained it. He has that kind of ability. He does. Yeah, he really does. We'll take the 30-second break. A minute, one left in double overtime. Jacksonville up to 44-42. Hamilton's Catering has been serving this area for more than 100 years. Whether it's catering your wedding, company event, or family get-together, people have trusted Hamilton's. They invite you to think of them for all those little extras in life. They're glad to serve you and your family for those holiday meals. Think of them for family reunions, bridal showers, and baby showers. Hamilton's has everything you need for graduation celebrations, birthdays, and more. They offer full meal service for most every event. Hamilton's Catering, Franklin. 101 left to go. Second over. That's second, right, second over time. overtime. Jacksonville leads at 44-42 on the James White three that <laughs> had he been any farther out, he'd have had to pay his way in because he was almost in the shooting section. And he faded away he on faded that. Faded away, and I don't know that he, he didn't catch the ball cleanly, it looked no. like. But the next thing you know, it was out of his hands, and it was all net going through. And now if you're Jacksonville, one more time, you got to come up with a stop. And Rochester just... Keeps on hanging around and making the big play, and their main man has been Stallworth. Hanlon will bring it up. Jacksonville shows zone defense, and Stallworth now on the left side. Albers is watching him. Now they'll run Stallworth on the right side. Baker's got it left wing on top to Hanlon. 50 seconds left in double overtime. Jacksonville on defense. Open. Here's Stallworth. One-on-one -on -one dribbles it. He he's double teamed. He's in the paint. He'll kick it back out to McClintock on top. Hamlin takes to the basket, goes up, double pump layup. Oh, it comes on the rim and falls out. Rebounded Dugan with 35 seconds Get left. Up, he threw it back to Brand and almost threw it to Stallworth it's all under the basket. Stallworth with a junction. Albers will get it back to Brandon into the front court. 25 seconds left. Brandon to the basket, goes up, foul. He'll be at the line for two. Stallworth. Stoll was trying to give he a did, foul, he and did. nobody called it, and Brandon kept on going. Now he's going to get two shots. Yeah, they call it late. Both now Jacksonville in the double bonus. That's a 10th team foul, and they'll call that foul actually on Hanlon. And yeah, okay, that's his fourth. So Brandon, their best free throw shooter with 24 seconds left in double overtime. Jacksonville up two. Make two here, and maybe you go home. Free throw is up, and Brandon oh. missed it. Right, Jacksonville just has been tight. Joe Brandon, 84% yeah. from the line. He missed one in overtime when he could have put him up six. He made his first three. He missed his last two, and you could see him yeah. kind of trying to whoosh that one in there. This is the big one, though, Mark. This means the three doesn't beat you. Bends and ease, free throw is up, and he missed a bone. Oh, my goodness. Rebound, Stallworth. Gets it to Hanlon, 20 seconds to go in double overtime. Hanlon will bring it up to Stallworth, 44-42. Jacksonville, we're at 15. Stallworth, one-on-one, -on -one, gets the screen, open three, right wing. No. Nope. Good, rebound, Sittler. And a timeout called by Rochester with 8.2 left. And we'll keep it here, 44-42. Jacksonville, Rochester's got the ball right in front of their bench. That's Again, that, was, that ball was online, and he missed it. Yeah, it it looked like it hit inside the rim and came back out. Wow. And, and, you know, he came off that little screen and had a wide open look. Eight seconds left to go in this one. And again, I think we're in the same position you were in that first throw yeah. time. You come out and I think you drive it. Draw, but A, you try to get the ball to a uh, stall with your second option's got to be handling. But either way, I have most points up a three. Either you win or, you, you know, I don't know if he can go to, although third overtimes have been good to Jacksonville here recently. <laughs> But these, these are just, you, these are high school kids. You sometimes forget it when you broadcast games. But this is one of those games that coaches always talk about when you're tight and you don't come through in the clutch. They always say, hey, you can have a great year and all this, but you gotta come through in the clutch. And if you're Jacksonville, you're just saying, every team has a game like this. You just wanna survive and win a game like this. 
and move on, you'll gain a lot of confidence from a win. You know, there was a stretch in the season where Joel Brandon just never missed a free yeah. throw. He's missed his last three. And he missed had a he, couple big ones against MacArthur. Yeah, had he made two there, this game's over. But, again, come up with one good stop. Baker into Stallworth, seven seconds, six seconds. Rochester down two. Stallworth, one on one against White. Left wing, three, two. Launches a three at the buzzer. Hey! That's how this one ends. And it's one final guy, boy. Rochester very upset to take Dean Dwight hit Stallworth on the elbow. And Rochester very upset on that one. But I think it's a good no call. I think it's a good no call. I think it's a good call. I think it's a good Put up. I don't think White fouled him. I don't either. Stallworth did a head fake, and I think if he doesn't do the head fake, White then crowded his air space, and Stallworth then forced it. And the three is no good, and Jacksonville survived. Wow. Double overtime win for Jacksonville, 44-42. Jacksonville just picked up their 20th win, so they're now 20-8 and on the season, and that sets up a big game Friday night here at the JHS Bowl. They'll be taking on Lanfear.